Today we're going to talk about putting a Foley catheter in a woman who has in labor and has an epidural. Um, we're going to go, I'm going to start through the procedure from beginning to end. You're going to walk in, you're going to explain to your patient why you're doing the Foley catheter in most pregnant women in labor. If they have an epidural, they're, they're going to need a Foley catheter. They will not feel it, so you can reassure her because of the epidural, she will not feel the insertion. She may feel touch, maybe a little pressure, but usually they don't feel much. So you can reassure her and explain to her why you're putting the catheter in, that she won't feel the need to empty her bladder and we wanna create space for the baby to move down. So the other thing you wanna do is raise the bed, bring the patient to you so that you're not bending over the patient. And I'm gonna move that so we don't hit her feet as the bed goes up. When you approach the patient, once you've explained, bring the blanket or sheet up from the bottom so she remains covered up top and she will feel less exposed that way. I always ask if they want us to kick anybody out of the room. Um, if, they, if they're okay with them being in the room, that's fine. It's up to her, but I do explain that she will be exposed. Now you will position her legs. Remember, she can't move or feel most likely. She's gonna have some limited movement due to the epidural. So you're gonna position the legs so that the feet are together. In most patients, and no else, she can't really relax her legs out, but in most patients, if you pop their feet together, it's gonna to help support them in that position and you want them to relax their knees. So I'm gonna move this out a little bit just so that I have space with Noelle. You're gonna open up your Foley catheter. Make sure you open it right side up. Sometimes I've opened them up upside down and had everything spill. You're gonna open up your kit sterily. Then you're going to have your gloves. And I do wanna point out that you will see different people do things slightly different sequence. With any catheter insertion, there are two important things. You don't break sterile technique and you get it in the right hole. There is no wrong way as long as you do those two things. So we're gonna open up our gloves, which aren't in the packet quite right, but that's okay. I put my, I usually put my dominant hand on first. These are small gloves. And slide your hand in like this without touching your hand. You ask your patient if she's allergic to anything, particularly iodine or latex. Many of the kits are latex free now. I know at the facility where I am, everything is latex free, but you wanna verify that with her. You're gonna take your drape. Remember, it's not like a typical patient where you tell them to pick up their bottom because they can't. So without touching her, you're gonna slide that drape right there. I take this extra drape and I just put it right down under the vagina. It will catch the extra beta down. Your swabs, you will find, this kit has two packets, but most kits have just one of these. So your swabs, you are gonna open and take out of the packet and just prop they're dried up. Just prop them in here so they're easy to reach. If you leave them in the packet, you're gonna end up shaking it off and that's gonna get in your way. I like to move everything out of my way that I am not using, so I do tend to do that. Your KY jelly, you're gonna open, and in many kits it's in a syringe. Squeeze it into a part of your tray. Some people actually like to put the KY jelly up on the top of their hand that is considered the dirty hand, and then they can just you can just dip it into the KY jelly right before you insert. It depends upon what habits you develop. Again, maintain sterile technique and you will be fine. I take the cap off of my syringe. I move this tray closer to, to mama. And you wanna slide this off very carefully so that it doesn't flop out of, caught up a little bit there. So it doesn't flop out of the sterile field. And then just dip the tip of the catheter in the KY jelly. You don't need to overdo the KY. Pregnant women are generally well lubricated. 
And on top of that, if you have too much KY, it can actually clog off the catheter tip, and then you have to go back and flush it. Remember with a pregnant woman, they have a lot of hormones going on, so things may look a little larger than you're used to. Uh, it should be easy to visualize the meatus in most pregnant women. Not always, but we're there, gonna be there to help you. So when you, you wanna get two fingers and you wanna get them between the labia minora. The labia minora and labia majora are not as distinguishable in Newell, but you wanna get two fingers. Be sure you get them deep in there between the minora and spread your fingers and then come way up to see your urethra. Remember your urethra, your meatus is gonna be that top hole. When you prep, take each swab and just go straight down the middle over the meatus. The meatus is a small hole. You don't wanna do one side then the other. You only have three swabs. So take each one, go straight down the middle and straight down the middle. And then you're going to take your catheter, hold it, not too close, but close enough that you have good control. If you hold it way back, it's gonna flop down into the vagina. So close enough that you have good control. You're gonna feed it into the meatus and go quickly, don't go slow. It may slide back out when she has a contraction, so don't let go. You need to just keep going and go quickly. If I've seen some students go too slow and then it just keeps sliding out and in and out and in. So feed it in. Once you see urine come back in your tube, keep going. You want the, Pregnant women have an elongated urethra and you don't want that balloon blowing up in the urethra. So just keep going. It's gonna curl up in the bladder. It is not gonna harm her. Keep going. With your dirty hand, anchor and hold the catheter. You may have this already hooked to the catheter. That's fine. I don't like to do that because I feel like it weights it down, but you can hook it in advance. That's okay. I, with this hand, will grab that and then fill the balloon and then pull off. Remember to keep pressure on the end of the syringe as you pull the syringe off. Then you're gonna back it up till you meet resistance and go under the leg and hang it on the side of the bed. There will be something to anchor it to her thigh with. So you're gonna anchor it, it's usually in the kit and we will be there with you, so don't panic. We will have a pair of gloves on and be with you for your first one and as many as we feel like you need to be with us. Let us know if you have any questions.